Salutations. So this weekend was a lot of fun. We went down to the Berkeley, San Francisco area in California to play some power soccer with a team that's down there. And it was mostly just a kind of, let's go travel, have some fun, learn some things from another team. Uh, because while we have been playing power soccer here in Portland for uh, five or six years, maybe, it wasn't till, well, I guess just before the pandemic a couple of years ago, that we actually got some strike force chairs and started getting a bunch of people showing up regularly. And uh, we were trying to find practice spaces and all this stuff. It was just a mess. But this weekend basically was the first time we have ever played with another team. So the idea was we'd just go down there, kind of learn as much as we can from them. Because a lot of us had a bunch of questions about kind of how things work and some of the rules and the unspoken rules and best practices and things like that. So it wasn't a competition with scorekeeping or anything like that or a tournament or whatever. We just went down there to learn and hang out and yeah, good times. And of course, Murphy's Law or whatever, there's always things that pop up. I, I had some issues with my breathing machine when we were down there and it kind of kept me from playing as much as I wanted to. I'm still kind of on the mend now. I'm sure I look really tired and my voice is a little bit different, but we'll get into that stuff later. Regardless, it was an awesome trip. We got a lot of information that's super useful. I learned a lot of stuff because reading the rule books is one thing, but actually watching another team in action, really kind of visual learning and all that stuff. Anyhow, we're gonna jump into the trip here, headed down there, and then some of the soccer play and then a few other random things we were doing, running around trying to find food, exploring Berkeley and Evans, Emeryville uh, and whatnot. So anyhow, uh, hopefully you enjoy. Here's a bunch of clips. This video, I'm not done editing it and it's already over 40 minutes long. So uh, welcome to the Central California soccer, power soccer weekend experience, words and stuff. Stopping for office supplies. Is that a Franklin thing? LMAO. <laughs> We're just getting office supplies on the road trip. No big deal. <laughs> Franklin already got our signs for our chairs made up. Oh yeah, he just said signs for the chairs. Weird. I don't even know what they serve for food at Dairy Queen. I don't think I've intentionally eaten at one since I was like 12. No. Just some sort of cheeseburger or something. Yeah, they get. They used to have really good ones. I don't know. I haven't. Hey, uh, can I get two bacon doubles? Bacon cheese doubles? Yeah. You want two of those in a combo or just by themselves? Uh, just by themselves. And is that going to be everything? Uh, yeah, that'll do it. We have 1450 in the window. Thank you. You're welcome. 1450? Are you joking? Do I even have my wallet? <laughs> Cheese. This better be the best cheeseburgers on planet Earth. No, they won't be that, but you got doubles as well. And uh, bacon, I guess. Oh, yeah. Whenever yeah, pigs are involved, it magically inflates the price. Ding, ding, ding. All right, did you wear your shoe today? Nope. Nope. All right, have Thanks. a great day. You do. We'll go park. Cool. Yeah, if we're going to be waiting, anyways. That bag seemed pretty large. It does. It does. I don't know if she gave you a combo. It seems like it's. That fries in there or something because there's two burgers in here. Unless Dairy Queen's suddenly on point. <laughs> right to you, window. Thank you, sir. And here's your card back, sir. <laughs> Can I get you anything else? Yes. I would like some mustard and mayonnaise, please. They're in boxes. Uh, you open it. Open. <laughs> Oh wow, that actually looks like a burger. Hmm. What's half of whatever I paid? Seven dollars? I guess that's... Seven twenty-five? Eh, it's food. 
Here comes our soccer chairs. What's up? Dan? How's it going? How's good. the drive? It's good. Can you give me a hot fudge milkshake? Hot fudge milkshake? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> 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 See the door handles they got here? The giant Coke spoons? Hmm. For door handles? Dairy cream. On the wall. It's a dairy cream too. No, that burger was alright. It had sort of a weird flavor to it. Like maybe they use liquid smoke or something. Oh. Edible though. That's good for 14 bucks. I know. I'm gonna save the other one for later. I suppose I could use this opportunity to mix up some more coffee. <laughs> Stretching this leg of mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's that coffee cup. Full of coffee. Was it sitting in there on the floor? Yeah, just sitting there the whole time. I didn't even see it when we. And it hasn't spilled? No. <laughs> you just found your coffee cup. It's still full. <laughs> That's great. It was next to my chair on the floor in the front. And we're still holding it 37 degrees in the thermos. The guy thinks he needs oxygen or something. <laughs> well, I can put this in the cup holder. I can't leave it made it up those hills. And Just sitting there on the floor? It was half full. It looks like Ryan is 47 miles away. I want to know who's driving. I bet it has something to do with it. <laughs> okay, so they started out two hours behind us. And we haven't right? stopped that long. I mean, we stopped once at that rest area. 47 miles behind us. I don't know. Because I was moving there, and, and most of the time, at least doing 60, if I wasn't doing close to 80. Is that the way the crow flies, or is that on the road? No, it's via the road. Huh. Me. Good for them. Yep. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Gas station made it, but this is going to burn. Whoa, fuck it into that out. Wait, so the hotel that we're staying at, is it in a good neighborhood? I'm hearing rumors of it <laughs> being questionable. <laughs> Emeryville. Oh, it's in Emeryville? Oh, I didn't know. Okay, I know Emeryville. <laughs> I did not know that. We had to take two guys in the pickup to. Uh, Wanted to watch the pickup, we go to Home Depot there. Huh. He just sat, one guy just, we stood out back and watched our shit in the pickup so they didn't steal us one. I know you didn't have any locks on the back of the truck currently. Although I guess you guys are staying somewhere else, aren't you? Yeah, I'm staying at Jordan, but. Okay. Ah, uh, Emeryville. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> it's a nice neighborhood. Yes. So coming up this hill on the other side, just around this corner, is when the when we were coming back with the bus, the transmission got hot enough that it turned on the 30 second engine shutdown timer on the dash. <laughs> so we had to pull over up there just on the side. It was a little bit sketchy. The transmission got up over 300 degrees and uh, triggered the ADEC system to shut down the engine and it gives you a 30 second warning. <laughs> yeah a manual switch back there to turn on one of the fans so we added a zip tie to keep it running all the time and surprise surprise the transmission started cooling back down excellent and sit there for a while and let things cool back down i found out later that it did ha does have an override button but we didn't know that at the time because if that 30 seconds happens to be in a spot where it's not safe to stop Sometimes it's better to permanently damage equipment than park in the middle of a freeway. <laughs> Oregon thanks you. Please don't come back. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta go through fruit inspection up here, I think. So what do you think? They gotta make them open the trailer? I'm going 70-30 in favor. <laughs> what you got in there? Bunch of wheelchairs? Open her up. 
<laughs> yep, all good. No one in here but us chickens. Thank you. Wow, he didn't even mention fruit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm stopping the car and turning it off and on again. Oh, did our cruise control get cranky? Yeah, I didn't oh. even have it set that time. Interesting. I think it's because we had the economy mode on. Maybe. Yep. That or it's the Microsoft van now. We all have to get out and get back in constantly. Turn it off and on again. China. No more economy Yeah. Yeah, no eco mode and no cruise on hills. <laughs> However, they were really confused that one time I had a 40 foot bus towing a 25 foot boat trailer behind it. <laughs> you don't you don't see that very often. Yeah. I will tell you though, that was one of the more, well, sketchy is not the word, but driving that in town with towing a boat behind a 40 foot bus, you couldn't just turn right. <laughs> Even with the tail swing coming around the back. this town. I'm sure people passing through here are constantly stealing signs that say weed. Oh, the chairs are on the move. Where even are we right now? Williams, my fourth grade math teacher. I'm just happy to have a styrofoam cup. Yes, we can now go back to Portland. I have my styrofoam beverage. <laughs> 649 for premium. Oh, diesel's only 604. That's better than Portland. I guess it is a truck stop. Yes, we get to get off this godforsaken highway. Yes. Oh wait, we're going on windy hills? Uh -huh. Oh. Hmm. I reserve the right to retract my previous statement. No. Well, we're off <laughs> the highway. I guess that's something. We have the, the noise isn't a thing anymore. Yeah. Uh, so Is it just up there at the end, or? I'll just follow you guys. Enjoy the rest of your journey in your lowrider. Minus 800 pounds. <laughs> yeah, so these bumps were a little bit too extreme for two wheelchairs in this van. Maybe even with just one. Oh yeah, no problem. So I'm not really sure where we're going or how far down here it is, but um, yeah, good times. <laughs> this is what happens when you, wing, when you wing it on a trip to Southern California. Nice scenery and stuff though. I'll just sit sideways here in my chair. Yeah, I didn't realize that back tire is actually pretty low even without me in here. Where am I hitting? Oh, we're good. Okay, onward. All right, y'all good? I yep. So. Well, we're in the van. Whoops. Sorry. I know. Yeah, soccer chairs. 
Yeah. Yeah, we can fit like three more chairs in there. Huh? We can fit three more chairs in there. I could put that one up there and put another one there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't tell them that. These damn tree nuts. If I had to engineer a surface that was not made for wheelchairs, it would be loose gravel covered in nuts. <laughs> and deep gravel. Oh yeah. You need the Hoyer lift and bed up. Definitely a nice view up here though. It's too bad it's on a hill. Cool. Well, it seems as though I arrived here before everyone else. So I have a cheese platter because why not? And I'm just chilling in the lobby for a bit. Good times. Um, okay, apparently this is like a suite. Ah, oh, there's a lot of room in here. A couple of beds, let's see, what is this? A washroom area, another door to the bathroom. Sweet, that'll do. Aha, yes. how I do that. Okay, so we've got two beds. There's three of us sleeping in here. One person needs to use a Hoyer. The other person can walk. I think I'm gonna take the couch actually because I can stack up everything the way I need it because I can't lay flat. Um, yeah, I think sofa. All right, sweet. Welcome to Barbecue or Trash Can in Central California. Huh. Is there an elevator hole over here? What do you think this is gonna smell like? Oh, yeah. All right, swing top. Uh, the one at a time? Maybe two. Oh God, Ugh, the smell. Hold your breath. Come on, mask is on. Wait. The lady of blessed acceleration don't fail us now. Oh, this is disgusting. I have hand sanitizer if needed. I'm not, I guess I did just touch that button. Yeah. E.T. infect home. <laughs> oh God, I can smell through the mask. <laughs> this one can go to bed. Quality machine. I think we're going up like three floors roughly. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Aha. Okay, cool. Yeah, you go straight back. It's for like half a mile. <laughs> Send it back down to Franklin. Hmm. Yeah, you're right, Brian. This is, Brian, this is very prison-esque. I would assume that's to keep people from throwing stuff on the train tracks. Very much prison -like. Yeah. Shit, Little guard towers and oh, Carl hit the button. I'm gonna wait for Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, roughly down here or something. Where? Straight that way. Okay. Well, over. It's. I think it's on the corner of that wine-colored building right there. And a wild Franklin appears. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> Just like Portland? <laughs> and we're all in this stinky elevator. Actually, this one doesn't smell nearly as bad. This one's not that like. Yeah. 
I mean, it still looks interesting, but like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna check the weight limit on these things. <laughs> Never yeah, have a problem with that. Adventure. Here, let me get the door. Oh, Alright, you can back straight around. I got the door. Is that where we're going? Uh, hang on. Alright. Hey, river tracks. Okay, so I think we're going to the corner where this wine building is over here. Take a picture of yourself. Yeah. Like I like the ammo box one where it was take yeah. an item, leave an item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I always enjoyed writing Dan was here. Yeah. That was my username on the website. Nice. <laughs> then we go right here, I believe. I think we're on the edge of the little pocket. <laughs> out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, no going down there. Hmm? Are we looking at that side too? Yeah. I think. Yeah, there's nothing on this side, and the other side's a foot and a half wide. Good. Yeah, someone's gas pedal on the floor. Empanadas. Hole in the ground. Yeah. Um, the, I think that the most popular is apple, then peach, and then blueberry. I wonder how much these even are. Like compresses? Caprice? Caprice? Or, you I don't know, know what that is. No idea. Looks like they brand the flavor is. on them though. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that one is. Uh, Soy Rizzo? So, oh, maybe. Oh, there we go. That's what it is. <laughs> it's fake. It's vegan. <laughs> how about that one? Pronounce that one. I don't want to get myself uh, in too much trouble. Eggplant. Fuga. Yeah, I don't know. Huh. Is it? Good. There's no C. F U G A G G E T A. Fugeta? Fugeta? Oh, Fugeta. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, you picked the wrong time to walk in here. We ordered a whole bunch of stuff. Just give me about 10 minutes. Hello, me. How much were those things? What was the total? It was for 10. You're like me, I never pay attention. I just 70, pay. 75. Okay, 75. I never pay attention. I'm just like, I don't even know how much I just spent. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like I just realized that sign, it says, the dude abides. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> yes, get your cardio in. Okay. Go. 
That'll do. Is it one way to turn around? <laughs> Wait, are we between the two bumps that we can't get over? Yeah. No, I can go this one. It's on this side. Okay. I can drive this way. We'll be fine. All right. It's much calmer. Sweet. Right in the corner. <laughs> Man, that, that was fun to watch. They were... I, that yeah. team was really good. That was awesome. I wasn't expecting there to even be pool lifts here, but it turns out they are. I asked them last night if they could get them going, and they said they would. Um, I was going to use it tonight, but the battery's missing on that one. And this one, two of the buttons on the controller don't work. So, I don't know. I can probably get myself into the hot tub. That's all I cared about. Um, but if we could get them going, that would be nice, since they are here and everything, taking up space. <laughs> Okay, so what the heck happened last night and today? I um, can't exactly, I'm trying to limit how much I'm talking right now. Short version, uh, let me put all this stuff down. Okay, short version is, made it down here missing this little valve that I need for my breathing machine. It's what makes a bi-level ventilator work properly or at all. And I brought a new hose with me and I neglected to take the adapter off of the old one. So I unpacked my bag last night and I saw that that was missing. I got to thinking I should probably carry duplicates for this exact reason. Anyways, made nine phone calls with my healthcare provider found a hospital that was 2.8 miles away, went to the ER and they managed to give me a new mask. Actually a pretty decent one. Only problem is, I didn't realize till I went to bed and put the thing on, there's a fundamental difference between the mask I use and the one they gave me. The one they gave me does not have these bypass air holes. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. The one I have, air is constantly flowing through it. The one I got last night, the air does not escape. So I got maybe an hour of sleep last night. For four hours after I went to bed, I was leaning over and adjusting settings on my machine, trying to get it to work properly. Then today I made a whole bunch more phone calls, trying to uh, see if I could get a hold of someone that could tell me the proper settings to use because here, I'll just grab it. Because I know for a fact that this mask is compatible with my machine. And I actually really like it. The cushion is huge and it has proper head support and everything. And I've used this exact setup last time I was in the ICU. But anyways, they couldn't get someone on the phone to recommend the settings. So what I'm gonna do is drill maybe one or two holes in this thing so we have the bypass flow. What was happening is I couldn't breathe out and no one on the phone on a Saturday was willing or able or whatever to tell me the settings to change on my machine. So anyways, my energy is not existent anymore and it takes a lot of effort to talk, you know, which tends to happen. It's one of those things where when I'm following the treatment plan for my breathing issues, it seems like nothing's wrong. But it's a big reminder that I need to keep track of this stuff and keep on top of it because one night of not being able to properly use this ruined pretty much the whole day for me. I wasn't able to play soccer. 
which it's fine. Like, even though this is happening and I've like, I haven't felt this wrecked in a long time, but I'm still in a very good mood. I'm really happy to be here, but we're going to drill some holes in this. And I think that's going to get me fixed up for tonight. And then tomorrow I'll be able to actually play some soccer. Um, right now I'm leaning to the side of my chair because I can't even hold myself up. But anyways, that's what happened. Um, I'm glad the hospital at least had something, but we're going to modify it and I think we should be good. <sighs> anyways, we're about to have dinner downstairs, so I'm going to shut up and hopefully we can get this taken care of. But it's just one of those things that sucks and very quickly reminds me that the breathing and lung issues I have, I should probably take them a little more seriously. And in the future, I'm going to carry sp spare parts with me every time I travel. Um, because, I mean, I'm not getting any younger and stuff like this happening can cause major problems. <laughs> so anyways, um, very happy to be here. I learned a lot at the practice today, just watching everyone play and the other team and everything. So, um, time for food. Oh, and I also didn't realize how much running around I was going to have to do today. We have one yellow bar left and I forgot to grab my charger out of my friend's van that I rode with. But anyways, this will get me through the rest of the evening. Um, I've got my charger here now. That's my other friends, but I've got mine right here. So anyways, planning ahead and stuff. Ooh, we got one yellow bar back. Sweet. Suckers! That'll do. Let me put this window up. Alright. Yay! Power sucker! You want your chair today or are you spectating? Nah, I'll play. Are we here yet? We're here. Yay. Yeah, I'm at least going to participate in the drills. Quiet you. <laughs> uh, it's open now. Yep. Oh yeah, wheelie bars. Oh man, having these side guards makes a big difference with me not flying out of this thing. Party, hoo, hoo, hoo. It's, it's not that party. <laughs> All right, so we just finished our soccer thing, and we have till tomorrow morning 
to uh, screw around. So we're gonna go look at some random trail next to the bay or something, I think. So, yeah. To the elevator. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So I think if we go straight, it gets to the pathway and then this weird maze is a dock or something. So this connects to a pathway. And if we want to go to the dock, we have to go down here. That looks like a pretty rough dock, though. Yeah, it, it looks really bouncy. Yeah. We and just, not in, like, a fun way. Yeah. Like a, Let's just go down here and look at stuff. Yeah. There's a trail that goes all the way down, so... Yeah, it's a San Francisco Bay shared use path or something. Wait, that's the shipwreck? Are yeah. you joking? It's like a dollhouse shipwreck. Exactly. We got scammed. I want my money back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There the oh, there's the Red Baron pizza or whatever it is. Ah, bumpiness. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, the boards are moving. Look yeah. at the weight limit is on this thing. I'm guessing that's all. Everybody jump up and down at the same time. What's up, pigeons? Okay, so there's the Red Baron and there's the itty bitty baby shipwreck. <laughs> oh. Can someone reach out there and spin the blades? I was gonna say, just far away that I can't get in. It. Although there's a little bit of grossness you have to lean on. Yeah, I know. Let me take one like Wait, this. free fishing pole. I ran over it, so. Oh. It's hysterical. <laughs> the lives of 37,000 fleas were lost. Now, there's probably <laughs> going to be some historical significance to that, and I'm making fun of it. Because yeah, right. I'm usually good for that sort of thing. I don't know. People will swim after that. When you go to that next, I wonder if I'm down the trail. What, where the excavators are? I feel like that's what the world expects cripples to want to do is look at big heavy moving equipment. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just going, my shocks let me go full speed. It's better when it's fast. By the way, pigeons. Wait, have you done the swap on your chair yet for the front shocks? No. No? Oh, okay. That actually wasn't too bad for how it looked. Yeah. I think it's because the boards move a little bit. <laughs> I like how there's like one million miles of ramp for that short one. Yeah, that's kind of funny. And it's all concrete. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is bad enough that bicycles would get upset. <laughs> yeah, it's a skull pattern. There we go. Pretty decent transition. Yeah, I can work for that. Carl said just go for it. So, is this San Francisco Bay then? Or just so. a bay? Or the ocean? Yeah, I have to kind of take the map. Something. I'm not entirely sure what's going on up here. Just a random parking lot. The viewpoint. I think the only thing you can do here is get in everybody's way. Oh yeah, I guess you can. Yeah. Watch out for reverse lights and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think the fence might go all the way across. Wind's not blowing in a direction that we can smell those rubber trees at the moment. That's what that is, huh? Yeah, uh, Drew is saying they're rubber trees. That's what and that's what that horrendous odor is, yeah. Okay. 
I guess my nose isn't working currently. Oh. <laughs> Bonus. Dan's got two stories in that one. Yeah, that one's taller than most. Yeah, I need to get one of those and install an elevator. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think pretty much everyone's vans was bottoming out yeah. crazy bad. Of course, everyone did have multiple chairs in there, but I want, they're running the brand new van, aren't they? Yeah, I wouldn't taller. have thought that one would do it. It's taller, because I looked at it and I couldn't see anything. Huh. Well, at least we know on this one, if nothing else, yeah, it's actually frame sliders and nothing like, you know, too critical. A frame? Well, it has the word slider in it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so we'll just think more. <laughs> it's like an extra square tube steel underneath the drop floor frame. That's what your dad was saying. Whereas my blue van will hit the shock mounts <laughs> before anything else. <laughs> it is a little lot more nerve wracking now. <laughs> Well, on the bonus side of things, it looks like there's a bunch of scratches on the pavement right there. So we avoided hitting the ground at this bridge because we're not moving. <laughs> you see those scratches right there? We're not done yet. Well, not the only one. Well, one less. That's, that's what I'm saying. Just one less. No, we're not through it yet. Now you can Okay, see. now we're now, now we're past the scratches <laughs> at the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Might jump up and bite it. <laughs> yeah. As we get high centered and become another. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> another man. Here's some wheelchair van got high centered on nothing, on I-80. Yeah. yeah. On a, floor on a pebble. <laughs> yeah. On a pebble. Dude, these things are like forklifts. <laughs> Can't drive them anywhere. For some reason, the floor broke out. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely on the right side. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Anyways, we hit the road, made it back to Portland. It was a pretty uneventful trip. We had issues with the vans. Actually, everyone was having the problem where the bottom of the vans would hit the ground on the freeway. Now, granted, every wheelchair van that was on the trip had at least two two power chairs in it, and everyone's luggage. On the way back, I put my chair in a slightly different position. And by the way, I was sitting in the back seat of that van because I, I don't know if it's just me or my chair. It's probably just me. I'm like, I'm six foot one and I have a really like tall torso or whatever. And almost any van I'm in, my head's almost touching the ceiling. But anyways, I sat in the back seat and I could do that as long as I have my feet up on my chair. Trying to use the little folding foot plate thing that is in front of the back seats on those drop floor vans doesn't work. I'll just wind up sliding out of the seat even with the seat belt on. It just kind of like go right underneath it. But anyways, uh, we took some of our tools out and put them in the back of the trailer that was coming back. So we all hit the ground once on the way back, but I don't know. It seems like for an $80,000 van, they could design those things a little bit better or maybe put bigger tires on them or like suspension that's not 100% linear like a stock vehicle. I mean, where it rides normal, but if it goes down further, sort of like overloads, where it compresses more. Anyways, preaching to the choir here. But yeah, good trip. I have a lot more footage, but this video is long enough, and this kind of gets the point across. Uh, lessons learned by me, of course. A friend just reminded me that I've been saying this for the last three years, and I need to pay more attention to my breathing problems. Um, this time, though, as fast as I went downhill, like... I got, to the, I got to the practice facility, started playing, and it was like dropping off a cliff. So that was kind of a bit of a wake-up call for me. I'm ordering some backup supplies, and I'm going to get... I, I, they have these little, like, battery-powered CPAP devices, which I don't use a CPAP. I actually use, like, a BiPAP or a bi-level ventilator. There's, there's a bunch of different levels of bi-level breathing assistance, but at least for sitting in the van if I want to take a nap or something like that, because I can't sleep at all, period, without breathing support. Like, they tell me if you have to sleep and you don't have your machine, go to the nearest hospital. So anyways, 
I'm buying some gear to carry with me, keep duplicates and things like that. So don't mean to keep harping on it, but for me, this trip was, uh, yeah. Anyhow, so we're gonna call that good. The trip was awesome. We learned a lot of stuff. We've got a lot of great information that we, and uh, well, things we gleaned from the trip and the other team had a lot of feedback for us as well, which was very awesome. So we're gonna apply a lot of that stuff with our new, um, brain's not working. We're gonna play soccer, that's it. All right, I'll see you guys on the live stream on Thursday. Hopefully the video was fun to watch and I will see you then. See ya.